So do you have a flip and flip that guy for this week? Uh, no. Is, is it your chair? No. I'm not mad at the chair. I ordered, ordered a new one. This one, It's been around for a while. We've been through some stuff. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. Not mad at much. Have, I don't have one either. I thought it would be Aaron Rodgers, but then I remembered, wait, I can't be mad at him. I mean, I can, but I don't – I mean, I really I just feel sorry not for yet. him. The only way I could get mad at him is if he legitimately screws up our season. I mean, that would just be him not coming back. I mean, that, that'd be pretty close, yeah. So, God, I can't believe I don't want to flip and flip that guy. I can't either. I, I will say, and it's not any sort of insult, but between the two of us, I do feel like you're the more negative one. It's just easy. We have a segment on the show. Just It's called Coming Prepared. It's called Giving the People What They Want, Aylers. I know. I don't want to be negative. I have to be for the show. <laughs> Flipping, flipping, dead gunner. You can't flip and flip me twice. I'm a very, I'm a very positive guy. You are. I'm just thinking between the two of us, I think you're the more negative one. I mean, that's probably true. That, that's all I was saying. It's just between us. You don't just wake up in the morning and go, "Who's gonna piss me off today?" You're not that. Yeah, because they already pissed me off yesterday. Those sons of bitches. Wow. Yeah. Flip me, flip me. <laughs> no. You know, I just there's certain things that irritate me, and you know, this is my opportunity, my platform, yeah. to talk about it. And if it irritated me, it had to irritate somebody else. I mean, don't get me wrong. Once football season starts, I promise you, every week there'll, there'll be something. Yeah, there'll be some. It's it is. There's a lot less going on right now. I mean, especially if we're playing fantasy football. I know I'm gonna get mad at somebody every week. Yeah, by the way, we need to get that started and moving. Wow. So um, if you guys are interested, get on one of those socials and write us if you want to be part of the Up the Gut uh, fantasy football team. How many teams are we doing? Uh, how many ever people we get. I think we really should probably have a minimum of 10. I um, think. Maybe a maximum of 10? Oh, maybe. I don't care. Whatever it is. You can only draft so many players. <laughs> maybe we'll have to do two. We'll do a backup league. I can't keep that much track of it. You don't have to. They'll 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 take care of themselves. We still we'll do it on an app. <laughs> Maybe, but we'll we'll have to do the. Uh, the, the we should, it should, it should, yeah, it, it should be an eight person league, and we're already taking two spots. So, yeah, the first six people that want to hop in there, just say something, anything, just comment, just be like, all you gotta do is say the word fancy. Gotcha. There I'm you go. I mean, is Chad Chad's in on this? So we can't leave him out. So that means there's only five spots left. Well, good. That's a good even number. And I can count on one hand. If you're Jason Pierre Paul. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I don't think, know which fingers are missing. The thing is, he ain't got all his fingers, but he's still one of the better pass rushers in the league. Yeah, because he takes his boot cast and punches people in the head. No. No, he's still good. I'm glad that he got past that. And I mean, it's not like he was like, it was a fireworks accident. It's not like it was a, he got shot in the hand or something. 